Your Excellency, Mr. Kavin Kuwar Kumarawal, President of Junior Chamber Internationals, distinguished guests, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for inviting me today. It's been a while since I attended one of the most exciting, energetic events. It's keep me young to tonight. Well, there is no surprise when you bring in, put about 3,000 of young leaders from 50 countries together. This is what you get. Thank you. I could feel the excitement. I wish I could attend as one of the members, but I cannot. But thank you. It is my pleasure to deliver these remarks at the JCI's Asia Pacific Area Conference, one of the largest gatherings of youth from every corner of our regions. I am deeply honored that Cambodia and Siem Reap, the cradle of our country's history and culture, has been selected to host this important event. And tonight I've seen so many cultures come together. It's like the theme today, Rice Thing Together. At the outset, I would like to commend the outstanding work that JCI, especially its Cambodian chapters, have accomplished. Your efforts in youth empowerment are deeply appreciated and have significantly contributed to our government's endeavors to enhance human capital development. <clears throat> Your borderless cooperation between different countries and regions also fosters exchange of people and ideas, which is a vital cornerstone of our region's integration and future cooperation. I would also like to extend my gratitude to JCI and JCI Cambodia for prioritizing sustainable development and social uplift in their agendas. Your unwavering commitment to bringing positive change and creating lasting impact in our communities, a commendable initiative that underscores JCI's role as a crucial partner in our nation's development. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted that Rising Together was chosen as the theme for the 2024 JCI Asia Pacific Area Conference. This inspiring theme is timely as the world faces uncertainties ranging from geopolitical tensions to economic crisis and from climate change to rising disease outbreak. Indeed, in delicate times like these, it is easy for individuals to lose hope and become self-centered. It is also easy to overlook the fact that hope lies within our youth, who will be, in the, tor will be the torch bearers of the world's future, the world especially our youth, needs to be reminded that we all share the same future, and by working together, we will rise together. In this spirit, I would like to address all the youth gathered here in this conference room or elsewhere, that we owe our futures to all of you. What you learn, think, and how you behave will determine how our societies progress amid the sea of uncertainties. Youth empowerment is an investment in the futures, and any society will thrive if its youth is strong, ethical, and forward-looking. Just now, President of JCI has just mentioned values that keep JCI's running over a centuries. And congratulations. This value is what makes any organization with progress with a certain direction. And I like to commend and congratulate on JCI with the expansion, the outreach all over the globe. And today, Cambodia welcomes JCI International once again. The theme of Rising Together 
everybody can sing together. But to make it work, you have to work together by sharing rights and responsibility. President just mentioned about duty and responsibility. I think that is the most important. We all benefit in this world. We have to contribute back. Without giving back, you cannot get anything more. If everybody has to gain and no one has to give back, the world will not be a peaceful one. Cambodia has experienced that world. The place you sit here, you enjoy here today, 2024. Over 20 years ago, before 1998, was a conflict zone. It's a battlefield. Angkor Wat that you've been to in early 1990s was the scene of the fighting, which different units stationed there and attacking each other. We have our cultures, we have our tradition, our temples built over a thousand years ago. But without peace, we cannot achieve today's event. Without peace, we cannot achieve, achieve this great progress that brings prosperity to everyone, especially youth. Youth is the most, are the most vulnerable one during the war. So working together to keep peace and stability by youth is the most important thing. Cambodia win-win policy. <laughs> Cambodia win-win policy is on a give and take negotiations. Without give and take, we cannot bring faction that fighting over 40 years together. Give and take in a sense that faction, the government back then controlled over 80% of the land, where the Khmer Rouge control about, you say, 15% with less populations. By resolving integration, by allowing them give opportunity to grade with full respect, it means give and take. By allowing each other to coexist, by mutual benefit, we cannot finish. So the theme rising together, the theme and the value that the President mentioned, that we have to work together to rise together is meaningful, especially in this town of Siem Reap that you can enjoy today. For us, Cambodia, this is what we build on. <laughs> Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the Royal Government of Cambodia recognizes the importance of our use in driving futures. As a country once regarded as the killing field, we are now a peaceful nation whose grand temple, such as Angkor Wat, and scenes breach, beach, serene beaches attract millions of visitors each year. This substantial transformation is the result of the sacrifices made by the men and women who work tirelessly to make this land one of welcoming hospitality. Now it is time for us, for the new generations, to follow in the footsteps and create new history. This is why the Royal Government of Cambodia prioritizes human capital development, including education and youth empowerment, as a crucial determinant of our future success as a nation. As the head of the government, I have implemented various flagship programs to bolster our efforts in youth development. In particular, we have introduced a 1.5 million youth skills development program encouraging youths from poor and vulnerable households to engage in technical and vocational training that is both free and remunerative. We have also embarked on the program to update our generational education curriculum to focus not just on academic excellence, but also on qualities such as community engagement, ensuring our youth are well-rounded and have positive views towards society. This is, like you say, values. It's not the knowledge itself. It's not just the hard skill. Soft skill and values is quite important and is priority that the government is put into building and use. In this regard, I would like to reiterate the importance of Youth Empowerment Association, yes, JCI, which are crucial partners to our government. Indeed, this is the story of Cambodia. But I am certain that JCI is cherished by all governments. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to all the parties who contributed to the success 
of this 2024 Asia-Pacific Area Conference. This includes the Simria Provincial Administrations and especially the Union of Youth Federation of Cambodia for providing cooperation and support to JCI Cambodia in highlighting Cambodia's approach to youth development. Over the next few days, I urge you to engage in mindful and meaningful discussions, share your experiences, and forge lasting connections that transcend borders. I also hope that you can explore Cambodia's business, West business and investment potentials, as we as government and the people of Cambodia are ready to assist you as your partners. Let this conference be a catalyst for innovative ideas and a renewed commitment to working together for a shared and sustainable future. Together, we can build a future where young leaders are not just heard but empowered to make a real difference. Together, we can rise and we will rise together. May this conference serve as a springboard for a new era of collaboration and progress, not just for the Asia Pacific regions, but for the entire world as we strive towards achieving the SDGs and combating climate change. I wish this conference great success and wish great health and success in all of your endeavors. I now declare the opening of the 2024 JCI Asia Pacific Area Conference. Thank you very much. <laughs>